Anyone who's ever driven a Panamera will immediately know what we mean when we say it's the sports car in its segment. As designers, of course, our job is to visualize precisely that. And that brings us back to the proportions of the vehicle within this class. The lowest vehicle, the widest vehicle. Small details such as the shoulder above the rear wheels. The fact that the passenger cabin tapers off towards the rear. In other words, all the design elements we know from classical sports cars have been transferred to this vehicle. That immediately produces the visual message, despite the size of the vehicle. I am the sports car in this segment. We had a very clear direction in mind and an idea. We wanted to infuse the car with even more Porsche DNA. In other words, it was to become a little bit flatter and sportier. And the designers already had that in mind when making their first sketches. To me this meant that I wasn't trying to present the car simply as a saloon, but to take it a step further. It was to be a sports car at the same time. The first generation we created was a vehicle that has lots of character. And we wanted to do the same with its successor, the new Panamera. That's why the line of the roof was settled right from the start. But the clear expectation was that it should be further optimized and improved compared with its predecessor. Looking at the tail of the new Panamera, it's the same issue, more pronounced, with more character. Again emphasizing the theme of width, reducing the optical height. Looking at the tail lights in detail, we'd started to pursue a certain philosophy with the Macan. We wanted to give the tail light a three-dimensionality, an actual architecture. And now we're combining that with the idea that the two outer taillights should blend together and create a home for the Porsche badge. It will be particularly interesting to see what it looks like at night, which is when many vehicles basically lose their brand identity. Here, though, it will be completely clear and unmistakable when I'm driving along behind the car at night that it is, first and foremost, a Porsche. An important feature of the interior is again the emphasis on breadth and that we actually want a slim-looking information panel. To me personally, the real highlight of this vehicle is the wide screen, which is completely integrated into the surface. To achieve that, the vents, which are normally on the left and right, giving you the feeling that the screen is squeezed between them, have moved down. And again, the technical highlight is that they're closed when they are not being used. So these are all elements where I would say that as designers, we were given a great deal of freedom so as to be able to produce a very attractive design.